Hi, welcome to LearnHowToGarden.com. In today's film I'm going to explain why using fleece in the spring can dramatically bring forward the crops that you're growing in your veg beds. If you're not subscribed to us at Learn How To Garden, there's a link above me right now. Click on the link and pop in an email address. You get to read the written posts I write at Learn How To Garden, you get to see what the gardening club is all about, and the great diversity of courses we have at Learn How To Garden, and you also get told every single time we put up a new film. Horticultural fleece is probably the cheapest and certainly the easiest way that you can extend the seasons in your garden. It's really cheap. The cheapest, and this is what we've got here, is less than 40p a metre. So for an average raised bed like mine, which is three feet by six feet, it's going to cost me less than a pound to cover it. And the reason I go for the lightest of the fleeces, I find that things grow really well underneath it. And it also means that if it lasts me two seasons, that's great. You can get heavier fleece, which if you are a commercial grower, uh, it's probably worthwhile getting, but you have got to store all of that fleece um, season by season if you keep it and obviously clean it. But back to the fleece itself. What fleece is fantastic for is, like in this raised bed here, we've just planted out some um, lettuce that we sowed about three weeks ago. And it's early in the season, it's March still. So although these are lettuce that will grow quite happily at this time of the year, if we can raise the temperature just a couple of degrees and protect them from drying out, then they will settle much better. And that's what the fleece does. It can raise the temperature two or three degrees underneath the fleece because it absorbs any sunshine that we have during the day. It maintains warmth under the fleece in the bed at night when the bed itself is giving off warmth. It also protects the seedlings. It protects them from pigeons and other birds that would eat them. It protects them from rabbits that would quite happily eat them if you get rabbits in your garden. Um, but it also protects them from wind and wind will dry out seedlings quicker than anything else. And it couldn't be easier to use. You just buy the fleece itself and all you have to do is lie it gently across the bed. So you just take your fleece and it's just like lying a duvet across the bed. Don't make it so that it's too tight, otherwise the seedlings will get crushed down. They'll be crushed a minute amount anyway. And the best thing I find is some plastic bags just with some sand in, and you want to weight it round the edges. Now the fleece itself will let rain through, but it won't let the wind through. But it also transmits about 70% sunlight. So if we keep this on now for a couple of weeks, the salad leaves underneath will dramatically grow quicker than if they were unprotected. We could leave it on for the whole season and they'll grow quite happily. And as we've said, they're then protected from rabbits, deer, birds. This is lettuce, but also you could sow beetroot directly into the ground now under fleece and it will germinate fantastically, so will chard. Behind me here, in one of our raised beds, we've got early sown spinach growing and some early sown spring onions growing and also some early sown rocket. Now because this raised bed is off the ground, I could sow in this bed probably two or three weeks earlier than the bed on the floor. But you can see that the fleece allows you to sow two to three weeks earlier, it protects your crops, and it's very, very cheap to buy. So if I was you, I'd get out there, get some fleece. And if you really want to get early potatoes, you could plant out your first earlies now into a raised no-dig bed, put some fleece on the top, and even if you're in one of those areas that can get late frosts, the fleece will protect the emerging potato shoots from frost. So you can get your potatoes again two to three weeks earlier.